Hey everyone, it's Tara. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Tara Talks Books, where we talk everything bookish. So today I'm going to be doing a mini review of an arc. This one was a historical romance and it is The Duke Gets Desperate by Diana Quincy. This is the first book in the Sirens and Silk series. So this follows Raya Darwish and she's an Arab American woman who inherits a dilapidated castle from her late cousin. Anthony Carey is the Duke of Strickland and ex he expected to inherit the castle um, from his late stepmother after his father had left the castle to her but that obviously didn't happen and Raya ended up inheriting it. So of course they kind of start off at odds with each other because, um, because of the castle. So the estate is bankrupt. So Raya does have to find a way to work with the Duke to ensure both their futures because he still owns like the majority of the land. She just owns the castle. So it'd be in both of their best interests to work together to keep um, the estate afloat. So this was my first read by this author and I enjoyed the inclusion of um, like Raya's culture. It's definitely woven throughout the book. It talks about um, like traditions as well as food woven throughout the entire book. And I thought that was a unique aspect because I didn't or I haven't read that in a historical romance before. So I, so I really enjoyed also the aspect of how Raya and um, Anthony were passionate about something. So Anthony was passionate about artifacts and preserving them for the future, whereas Raya was passionate about all aspects of business. I enjoyed how it showed just how capable in business Raya was and how she was in creative in like thinking up business ventures to like help save the estate from bankruptcy. She came up with a lot of, you know, um, unique ideas and then um, it helped the castle overall or like the estate overall. And I liked that aspect of it. So in the beginning, Anthony was like against everything that Raya did. So it was considered like not part of English customs for her to like give tours of the castle and like have them pay. It's like they was free back then. So like he was like, oh, this American always business hungry. And so like there was that fun aspect of that. And I loved how at the end he like just totally trusted every decision because when in the beginning he was so against it but he realized that like her ideas and her ways to help save the estate was were working so i thought that was a cute aspect of the book i also thought one cute scene from the book is that um her favorite color is purple or like violet lavender that sort of thing and he ended up planting um, a bunch of flowers out in like the garden area of the estate and they're all like lavender. So I thought that was really pretty and a really nice aspect and it kind of showed um, just how much he cared for her. So I thought that was adorable. So I did end up giving this one a four star. I did really enjoy it and I thought it was a fun read. So this one does come out September 26th. So if you like historical romances that have kind of a hate to love and class difference, definitely check it out. It is a good one. Let me know in the comments below if you've read this one and your thoughts or if you've read any other Diana Quincy books, let me know. I'd love to hear. Like and subscribe if you'd like to. Bye. Mm -hmm.